behind us, we have basically the whole modern history of the harp. And much of our playable repertoire has come through these three harps that are sitting behind us. And so in terms of students learning, this wraps everything together. The, the pedagogy, um, being able to play music with the correct amount of sensitivity, understanding mechanically what was possible at the time, tying in with history, and then tying in with what we do in a modern age. That's really what education is about. But really, as you can imagine, harps are not easy to come by, and especially harps that are as rare and special as these instruments. I've known David for quite a few years. Uh, he was one of the first people that I met when I uh, came to UNT. I had this collection and I did not want them broken up. I did not want them sold. This has taken basically three decades to collect these instruments. And it's, it's truly a labor of love. Sometimes I have to be a machinist, a carpenter, a gilder, a painter, or whatever. <laughs> And we, we can go and look at these harps and say, well, yes, this is why it's different. This is why this passage is different on, uh, difficult on the modern harp. There's something graceful and beautiful about it that everybody seems to agree.